Hillsborough County school leaders are vowing to fight back after county commissioners voted to remove a proposed millage increase from the upcoming ballot and instead put it on the ballot in 2026. Good evening, I'm Keith Kate. I'm Jennifer Lee. Thank you for joining us. The district says the money would have helped the Hillsborough County School District hire more teachers. News Channel 8's Melissa Marino joins us now live at the school board administration offices where a news conference just wrapped up. Well, good evening. School leaders say they are in shock. They had no idea this could even happen, and they are vowing to fight it. Meanwhile, commissioners who supported it say they're protecting taxpayers. Motion carried four to zero, four to three. Caught off guard in the battle over education dollars in Hillsborough County. It's puzzling to all of us, puzzling to all of us in Hillsborough County Public Schools as to why four county commissioners are taking the choice out of the hands of the voter. Faced with 500 teacher vacancies, the Hillsborough County School Board planned to put a property tax increase on the November ballot to hire more teachers. However, today, an unprecedented move. In a 4-3 to three vote, the county commission voted to instead put the tax referendum on the 2026 ballot. Oftentimes they say that government doesn't take the hard actions upon themselves, and I believe that today we did the right things for the citizens of Hillsborough County. I spoke exclusively with Commissioner Joshua Wolstol, who brought the motion, saying he wants to protect taxpayers already struggling to make ends meet. Right now, every single day, multiple times a day, hundreds of emails come in, in fact, of people talking about record high inflation, record high property taxes, um, record high property insurance that they just can't literally afford to live anymore in Hillsborough County. Commissioners also had concerns that allowing this to go to a vote alongside the community investment tax would put a squeeze on residents and that voters would not support two tax increases in one election. School leaders argue this will ultimately hurt the quality of the county's education. The young people of our district lost today. They cannot wait two years to have a quality teacher in front of them. The superintendent has called for a special board meeting next Tuesday. He tells me he's going to be asking school board members to authorize him to take legal action and to get this back on the November ballot. Reporting live, I'm Melissa Marino, 8 on your side.